Yeah. So many little time styles. So doing today. Well, Amy Robach and TJ Holmes. Y'all, let me tell you something. <laughs> TJ knew what he was doing. Y'all, the new thing between Amy and TJ is Amy and TJ are about to be fired. ABC is just negotiating their uh their uh release. Amy is literally considering filing a discrimination lawsuit because she said that she's being discriminated against because she's doing a loving v virginia if you know what i'm talking about but y'all it's not over M amy now wants to marry tj to which i said you really think you're gonna make that dog settle down she wants to marry tj but guess what it looks like tj is gonna do it because did y'all know that amy is worth 50 million dollars Oh, that's right. TJ saw her coming. He literally took her to like, um, what do you call it? He literally took her to like a Drew Hill reunion concert, kind of did the like slow wind on her. And she was like, oh, TJ. And she showed her, he showed her the brighter side of life. Like, come on over to the color, co colorful lights. I'll show you the blinded lights. And oh, and Amy Robot is sprung, y'all. Listen to these reports. You're not going to believe this. Woo. According to Radar Online, oh my God, Amy wants to marry TJ. And it looks like TJ's going to do it because, baby, if TJ marries Amy without a prenup, yo, big ups. Bop, bop, bop. Big ups to him. Y'all, let's get into this story. Good morning, America lovers. Amy Robach and TJ Holmes are talking marriage to prove that their relationship is serious. Uh, the co-hosts Amy Robach and TJ Holmes are talking about the possibility of marriage before the divorces from their respective spouses are even finalized. According to sources close to the couple, the two are talking about walking down the aisle after they hash out settlements in court with their exes. I do want to say this, Marley, you better get in there and get everything you can. But now I see Yo, TJ's a dog. He got that dog in him, but he's not a stupid dog. He literally saw Amy coming. You saw basically an heiress that's worth 50 million. Yes, Amy cares about her career, but this is a career ain't paying any bills. This also explains why Andrew Shu was trying to sit close to her. She had to, you couldn't believe it. This and that, all those things blew up. And now you're talking about marrying into a $50 million fortune. Now I know TJ might have his own little coin, but y'all, it's 50 million. Can we just acknowledge that? And the fact that that's why he finally left his wife, Marlee. Let's not forget that he's cheated on her several times over the years. He does what he wants, but Amy was different. And I see why now he publicly filed the divorce decree. He went on that kissing spree. Y'all, TJ Holmes is doing a con on Amy Robach. And Amy Robach's dumb self has fallen for it. Yo, you know he probably put on some boys to men, some like I make love to you, I'll make love to you, because I don't know like Amy Robox will probably telling her kid, her friends like it was so romantic. It's like the crescendo. I'll make love to you like you want me to. He was putting that dirty wine on her. She was just like, oh my god. No offense to Andrew Shu, but clearly he couldn't do it like that. And I'm sure that Amy was so like excited about the culture, you know. Um, literally getting dance lessons, probably taking her to a dance hall club, taking her to like a little, you know, corny lounge that like your uncles go to. But to Amy, she was just like, this is how we do it. It was so fun, like the lights and like, I was like, shut it da 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 this is how we do it. And they were like coming close to each other. This is how we do it. Da -da 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 -da. And she was like, it was so romantic. I felt alive. TJ, listen. TJ, you wrong for what you did. This explains even why you miss your daughter's. This is even why you miss your daughter's um, birthday party. Cause you were just like, baby, don't worry. M Daddy gonna come and we gonna buy you a whole country if you want. New mommy got $50 million. Don't worry, let me just, let me just flip this and I'll be right back. Y'all, let's get more into this. They're talking the possibility of marriage. Um, where are we? Oh. A source that Amy is close to wrapping up her agreement with soon-to-be husband, Andrew Shu. Yo, that's why it is. I wonder if they had a prenup and if Amy has to pay him spouse her alimony. And is encouraging TJ to push through his divorce with Marley Fig. She wants him free so they can get married and prove to everyone how serious their relationship is. 
They're relieved it's all out in the open now after sneaking around for months. Further, sources said Amy is worth an estimated at 50 billion. And get this, has no problem supporting TJ if he has to part with most of his fortune in his divorce. She wants their divorces over and done with. Another insider said they're happy and love TJ and Amy's attitude is to hell with anyone that stands in their way. That's right, TJ. You better pay, get paid like Rob Kardashian weighs. Y'all, TJ saw Amy coming, and this is the problem of marrying a dog. You think they're gonna do better by you, but no, you were just a bitter, bigger, better, mm, a better mark. Um they also coming back. Amy's friends, Chris Harrison, is applauding Amy and TJ for hiring lawyers and make Good Morning America scandal. They said, good on you. Now, here's the thing. I'm never going to defend a network. ABC had this problems with discrimination and racism. ABC and most big corporations are trash. However, I find it odd that Amy has a nerve to be keeping this route. Amy, you better stop acting like you love and be Virginia reincarnated. Um... They said, he said, so the Harrison guy said, I have a lot of strong opinions about this. It's personal. Oh, wait, that's the guy from The Bachelor that said those racist remarks. Is this really who you want going on record? A report came out that Amy and TJ have been let go and they've been lawyered up. And I say, good on you, good for you guys. Uh, again, ABC is saying that Amy and TJ are out. A decision has been made and the network is negotiating with them on their exit deals and their announcement. I think the real takeaway is this, from this is TJ just got a bag. He, listen, his no character, low moral self just got a bag. I hope to God that Amy, no, actually no. I hope that Amy marries him without a prenup. I hope they teach you. I, listen, I hope Amy and TJ are each other's karma. But y'all, can you honestly believe this mess? I, I can't. I can't. That's all I'm saying. Y'all, listen, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know now you're rooting for TJ. I will say, I think Amy and TJ are each other's karmas. TJ, well, he's just a dog. He's just going to keep getting his stuff. But like TJ, you're going with Amy because she has his money and she is so sprung. She will support you, do whatever. And Amy, you're going with TJ because he makes you feel alive. This is how we do it. Da -da 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 -da. This is how you do it. Yay. Listen, who knew a, 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 a Drew Hill at Boys the Men concert could literally land you $50 million and a girl that's willing to do anything to please you? Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.